um, had behavioral health in the sex QHC, but has been working with us in our learning community about bringing it more in a more integrated fashion into the primary care setting. And then we'll end with um, uh, Paul Wilson from Kreider Center. They were a community behavioral health center that actually became a federally qualified health center. So as I said, we've got four models here, and I'm going to turn it over now to Kim Schantz, has a master's degree in social work and 30 years experience in the mental health field. And I've had the pleasure to work with Kim over the last almost three years as they've been developing their um, integrated health program. So, Kim, do you want to take over control of the presentation and talk how, about uh, your integrated program and how you went about doing that? Thank you. Yes, I will um, welcome all. Um, we are uh, located in Akron, Ohio, a large um, community mental health center. We have spent two years in the planning of our clinic, and then we've been up and running for two years. So I'm going to spend about seven or eight minutes on four years. So um, if there are questions, um, you know, feel free to add those later, but I'm going to try to get through as much as I can. Um, as I said, we're a large community mental health center. We decided to, uh, we call it going, going it on our own. And we decided to bring uh, some local groups together and see if we couldn't develop primary care within our community health center. Uh, in the planning stage, we did look at becoming uh, a partner with our local FQHC. Uh, at the point where we were ready to, to jump off on this, they were not um, ready to do that. So that would have been a good option for us, and it, and it is for everyone. It just didn't work in terms of timing. And we did not want to wait. So we really felt like this was important enough for us to move on and to try to do it on our own. That We partnered with our local um, uh, mental health board, and we partnered with local universities, Northeast Ohio College of Medicine and Pharmacy, as well as Akron University, our large local university. And we brought a lot of these folks together, as well as a local large provider of primary care, um, sort of a consortium physician group, and sort of brainstormed for two years to figure out how we could do this. So we implemented this using a nurse practitioner from our local university which was an excellent fit because they also have a free clinic. And so this person was kind of used to working in a similar kind of setting to ours and some uh, crossover in the population. And then we used a, a physician from this large consortium to get started. Uh, the population we serve is uh, about 2,500 clients with uh, severe and persistent mental illness, predominantly schizophrenia and the schizophrenia spectrum disorders. And we looked at all clients being eligible for the integrated service. We currently have, after two years, a little over 600 consumers who are working in the integrated uh, care clinic. And anybody with insurance was, was able to uh, use this service. But what we've done is we've really tried to collaborate with the local free clinic 